All right. So now it looks like we have Windows started. Remember now in the bottom corner here, that's where you set up your Wi-Fi. We're not going to do that right now. Now, if you're doing this at home, you will have to do this so you can uh, install the software. But in my case, I'm not going to go to the website and get the two programs. I'm going to use the uh, thumb drive that I have with it already on because it's much faster. And I'm setting up a lot of systems right now. So, I'm going to go into my file folders. In this case, I have a thumb drive with the stuff on there already. The first thing I'm going to install is VLC, which is on the website in the software downloads. And it's going to take you actually to a link out to uh, the company itself who supplies this. I just say yes to all the stuff. This is the graphic engine, the, the video engine that I use. It's, um, open source so they keep it up so I don't have to do it so I don't have to write code for that anymore so let this install let this run because this is pretty quick and this is the newer system we're using it has the 4 megs of RAM and the 64 gigs of storage space it's pretty good we don't, we don't have to use that but it's a much faster unit much more space especially if you're going to use uh, uh, use it in a remote location that has no internet it can store a lot more files locally alright so let's go ahead and press finish let it go ahead and run itself so it actually fires up maybe it'll come up in a minute we'll work the firewall thing in a minute continue that and close that so now we got that now we go to the damn setup which you can also download uh, from the website it's the main software it's a zip file you just go ahead and open it like a file because Windows understands zip files double click on the zip file itself it'll extract it and run it directly now it looks like nothing's happening but it's something real it is actually happening there we go and since you know I don't pay Microsoft thousands of dollars to say who I am, I'm an unknown publisher. So just go ahead and accept it. Just hit run it. It's pretty quick. This is the main software that turns the computer into an ad server. All right, so there it goes. Just go next. Accept everything. Now it's going to ask you to reboot. We don't. We're we're going to finish. We're not going to reboot right now. So we say no. Let's close these windows because we're doing all this stuff. Then we're going to go into the Windows uh, Control Panel or the Settings, which is the Control Panel. We're going to go to System. Make sure we make it so it doesn't go to sleep. So I'm going to power and sleep. Change that from the 10 minutes, whichever it was, all the way down to never. Remember these are going to be run continuously and don't let it sleep. Okay. All right. See that turns the screen from from not coming off and also makes the PC not go to sleep. Then while you're still here, scroll down to About. We need to name this PC. We gave it a, 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 a description, but we're going to change its actual PC or device name. And that's going to be equal to the network and the number that it is. So this is 09. It's the ninth one in the set. Say OK. Restart later again. Close that. Go over here to this little notification box. Turn on your firewall. We'll hit that. Turn that on. So now we're in pretty good shape. Now we can go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. 
And if you have a LAN connection, disconnect that LAN connection when you're setting this up. You do not want internet while you're doing this. So right now we're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Connect that. Make sure it connects automatically. It's going to ask you to finish setting up. We're going to go ahead and go through this process, but we're not going to do it. Let's see, it's trying to get you into the Microsoft stuff. No, you don't want to do that. Now, some of the systems that you might pick up might be a little different, but it's about the same. So we'll see remind later. That turns that stuff off. Now, we just installed this software, but we're going to update it. So this icon here that says Mini Billboard Start, run that while you have your internet on. Wait the 30 second timeout, and it'll go get the current version of the software. Because the actual setup is not. The setup is like a base setup, and then this gets the new version. We'll wait a few seconds. See it saying update server. It's going to try to run it. We don't care, so we'll just go ahead and hit the space bar and get out of it. All right, so we're out. And um, we are ready now to reboot. So I'm going to pause it, and we'll reboot in a second.